according to Wikipedia, uh, it was John Thomason's book about Jeb Stuart that got you interested in military history. Is that true? Yes. What was it about the book that you found absorbing? Well, I was at that time, my father liked to read out loud uh, to myself and my brother. And we lived in a rather isolated community. The nearest neighbors are two and a half miles off, and the winters are long in Montana. And uh, my father ran a ranch uh, for his father, so it would be my grandfather's ranch. And he would read books generally that he liked. He liked John Thomason's books particularly because my father was a World War I Marine. John Thomason was a World War I Marine and wrote a number of very popular books on the Marine Corps in World War I and in the Banana Wars that took place at that period. And my father uh, admired Thompson's writing, and uh, apparently somebody gave uh, my father for Christmas or his birthday a book on uh, by Thompson. He only writes two Civil War books. One is on Jeb Stuart, which is a a biography, and one a, a fictional story. So my father uh, uh, read the book on uh, Jeb Stuart to me. This would be in a particularly bitter winter uh, that they talked about in Montana, the winter of uh, 1950, uh, 1936 and 1937, in which uh, uh, he read the book Jeb Stuart, and that Jeb Stuart captured my imagination, and I uh, both uh, when my father would read to me, subsequently he would have to read Civil War books. Probably my brother did not appreciate it, and when I began to uh, seeing I was now in the, getting into, into the seventh grade, when I started reading books myself. Uh, that are adult books, I started reading Civil War books and became very interested in them and read a large number of books uh, in the, the, on the Civil War until I uh, joined the Marine Corps. Then, of course, I had other things to keep myself busy. I was then either, I'm going to say fortunate, I was wounded rather badly at the Battle of Suicide Creek in uh, New Britain on Ju January 2nd, 1944. And I spent the next uh, 27 months in hospital, government hospitals. And uh, since you have a lot of time with it, a lot of time on your hands, and in the San Diego Naval Hospital, they had a particularly very good library. And I spent a good part of my time during recuperation, uh, in between operations, physiotherapy in there, reading books on the Civil War. There I first, first read uh, uh, Freeman's R. E. Lee, R. E. Lee, which Freeman won the Pulitzer Prize in 1935 for, four volumes on Robert E. Lee. And then I particularly read since I read, followed up on those, reading Lee's Lieutenants, uh, a three-volume series which Freeman wrote dealing with uh, Stuart's subordinates, such as Lee Longstreet, such as Thomas Jonathan Jackson, such as Jeb Stuart. And uh, these were being read at, uh, these were coming out during World War II. Not, finally, I learned later on that one of the famed Marines of World War II. He, at the same time I was, but not in the hospital wounded, was reading Lee's, Lee's Lieutenants. That would be uh, the 
Marine Corps hero, uh, uh, Colonel at that time, Colonel uh, Lewis Chesty Puller. So I always felt I was rather interested to know that we probably read Chesty Puller at the same, uh, read uh, Lee's lieutenants at the same time. Uh, I didn't learn that till I read uh, Burke Davis's biography of Chesty Puller after Chesty Puller was dead. That that was his. Uh, he read those books uh, uh, as re uh, uh, as relaxation uh, while commanding Marines in World War II.